Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic, here to bring you part 4 of my Goof Troop Let's Play. In the last part, we crawled through the castle catacombs to make it through stage 3, and we now have a password that lets us go directly to stage 4 whenever we want. Speaking of which, here's the cutscene that leads up to it. Ha! They think we're royalty, PG! I kinda like being a pirate king! Shh! Dad! They'll hear! Servants! More food! Being stuck in a whale sure makes you hungry! Ha ha! Why are we trying to rescue him again? Eh, <clears throat> whatever. Alright, here is stage four, which is a really, really long stage compared to the other ones. Now first we gotta solve a little puzzle here. Because of course we have to solve a little puzzle here. Although in this case, it's not really difficult. It leads right to this room where we find out that these guys... Actually, I'll exit and re-enter because I kind of need those barrels in order to kill these frogs. Don't need you around. Come on, give me the barrel. Thank you. Froggy. Move, Froggy! This way! Please! No, not that way! Oh, well, I guess that works. You are annoying, so you die! And just because I hate leaving you alone, you also die! Right. Ow! You cheeky little... Yeah, that's what I meant by them playing catch. Alright. Here's a neat little puzzle. Get that over there. And this block will serve to keep that one in line. Which means now... All we have to do is wait for that last block to blow up and open the way for these two gems. Simple puzzle. Now for a little bit of ice physics, which fortunately is one of the few times in this game that there are ice physics. And we've got the door open. They don't stay down forever though. So, actually, why am I doing you? I want to go this way first. Even though there's purple pirates here. You can't catch me, you can't catch me, nana -na boo -hoo. Come on! Come on, you overgrown tub of lard! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Now I've got max life, I've got max everything, which really helps since I'm max, <laughs> after all. And now we have fire pirates, which, duh, they can breathe fire. They aren't really that much more difficult than the ones that the Roly Poly guys but they can prove annoying. Didn't we do this room already? I thank you for that. Yeah, I think 
gonna use that last barrel to kill you, too! <laughs> ah, this room! This room, we have a choice. Go up for puzzles, or go right for combat. I am going to go right for combat first. Well, relatively speaking, right for combat, that is. And then, once I get to the point where I need to go in order to... In order to meet up, I will backtrack and then do the puzzles. You don't have to do both parts, but it does help. But, well, actually it doesn't really help, so to speak. You just need to do one of them. I'm gonna get rid of you first, because you are most in the way. Stupid thingy. Come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna avoid that. Actually, I think I'm kinda screwed, because Mr. Bandito there tossed all the barrels! And I think I need to kill everyone. Hey, Mr. Bandito! Haha, <laughs> moron. Oh, I didn't need to kill the snakes, though. Killing the snakes obviously helps! <laughs> so let us go into the next room! Huh, didn't we see this room before? Yeah, you couldn't tell this particular level likes reusing rooms a few times. Ow! Thought he was gonna hit the wall! And you can see why these guys can be a pain for me now, right? And this looks a little more threatening than it really is. Just pay attention to where they, f where the rocks actually touch the ground. Now I am going to destroy these pirates. So I can get through. Use Max's super speed to get all the way across and toss these barrels quickly. Now I can kick the rock and run through this little windy path in order to reach the point where I need to kick it onto the switch marker and thus solve the quote-unquote puzzle. See? There we go! And now, is this the room that it connects to? Yes, it is! So, time to backtrack! Fortunately, I don't have to do the puzzle in reverse in order to get out. It's pretty simple to get back. Ow! Don't make a liar out of me by killing me! That's rude! Supply me with more barrels!
Great. <laughs> Thank you for the assistance, Mr. Red Moron. And we are almost back to the room that split off. Here we go. Now what we do is this. Kick this all the way down. That. That. And now it's time for some puzzles. But first, some destruction. Running over of pirates because I feel like it. is the most difficult puzzle in the game. We need to cover every single one of these squares in order to win. However, most of the blocks are not going to be much help. I mean... Obviously, this one should go there. But then we have a little problem. I need to push this block down here, here, here. Also need to get this one over here. Then this block needs to go up to cover this one. And then I need to use the remaining four to cover those two spaces. Which, as you can imagine, isn't really going to be too easy. I mean, I think it involves this, then this. Alright, so, these bo blocks both go up so this one can stop here, this one stops here, and everything else is good. Yeah, okay, so, run, 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 run! Yes! Aha! And hey, haven't we seen this room before? Okay, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> but at least the barrels are more favorable with their bounty. A little bit. And we have another puzzle! Um, hmm. I don't actually remember how this one goes. I think... Yeah, 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 I know how this one goes. So I'm just gonna get rid of... You... Real quick. Hit the blocks that I can hit into their proper spaces. And then... Start the timer! I had more than enough time, as it appears. And there was the puzzle route! Hey, haven't we... I thought I said... I thought you said that you were going to... Not do that anymore! Okay... Yeah. Seriously, this level uses reuses a lot of rooms. And I don't have to kill all the enemies, but I will anyway because I like running over pirates. Alrighty. And now we're back here. Just need to hit all the switches. 
but we have nothing to hurt people with. Which can be a bit of a problem. Thanks to those morons. Alright. So. Now we have this room. There are no enemies. It's just a puzzle. Just a very simple puzzle. Of course, simple is kind of in relative terms here. Though I think that this is the proper way I'm supposed to do things. Okay, um... You down here. You kind of need to go this way. And up. Right. Down. Right. Up. Huh. Didn't really even need all the blocks. Don't really need the candle after this room, so let us just take the... Leave the bell. And our only weapons here are push blocks, which they can also use. And we need to kill them all, too! Fortunately, they are stupid. <laughs> very, very stupid. Hmm... Well, looks like we've got another puzzle. We've got two normal blocks, one exploder. Space here where the exploder obviously has to go. And two places to put switches on. Or to put blocks on. This might seem a little daunting. But, don't worry. It's nowhere near as difficult as that one from earlier. You just do this little turnabout trick. And bada bing bada boom. Both the blocks are in position to solve the puzzle. And look, the waterfall is gone. Leaving just a rope bridge to go across. Now we've got four pirates to deal with, because we're max, we have to use eight barrels in order to get rid of them. My preference, of course, is to destroy the green pirates first, since they're the only ones that can harm you without barrels. Of course, if the red ones get in the way, that's not really an option now, is it? But eventually we will destroy everyone. And be left with just ourselves and an open door. Leading to the level 4 boss. No snappy come with this time because we're fighting centipedes. Every time a centipede goes off screen, a little earthquake happens where we can pick up a nail. Throw it at the head, and they lose a body segment. Rinse, lather, and repeat until both centipedes are done for. Of course, you have to hit them on the head. If you hit them on any other body part, it won't count. So, it seems fairly simple, right? Just avoid shadows from falling nails. Fire at centipedes. It's really not difficult. Well, you'd be wrong on that. Because we're about to come up 
on the little twist. Yes, we must now fight both centipedes at the same time! Okay, that doesn't actually make the boss that much more difficult, but still, it's not quite as mindless as it was a moment ago. Of course, it's annoying that you can only hit one of them on each pass, unless you've got multiple players. Which is probably why tool-assisted speedruns of this game involve two players. Working in concert. But we are almost done with this boss. Just a couple more hits. I think maybe three or five. Okay, now two or four. I'm not sure if each one takes one more hit before their death stroke. Nope. Just one hit left. Also, I think the centipedes get a little faster the smaller they become. But that hasn't mattered, because the stage is cleared! And with this, we get the password that lets us travel to the last level in the game immediately without doing any of the others. But that'll be for next time. Anthony, send us off, please! It's Waluigi! <sighs> anyway... If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can become super popular! Ahem. <clears throat> eh. Him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to let me know what you want to see in future Let's Plays. So that I may... Follow those requests if I'm able to. Also, if you have any general Let's Playing tips that you think I could use, feel free to share them. But until next time, where we take... where we head on to the final level of the game, and rescue Pete, I guess, even though he doesn't really seem to need rescuing right now. This is Shadow Sonic, signing out.